What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be experimenting with some flat discs. Uh, if you do any metal work, you know these are great. I use them constantly. Everybody sells them. Pretty much every hardware store, auto parts store in town sells them. I just kind of wanted to see which ones perform best, which ones last the longest, and really which ones give you the best bang for your buck. So, I've bought one from every store in town that sells them, and uh, we're going to grind some stuff and see how they do. Let's go. So, what I have done is I've got basically a flap disc from every place in town. Um, I got one from Menards, I got one from Harbor Freight, I got one from Amazon, I got one from Walmart, I got one from Track Supply, and then this one is from my local welding store. You know, everybody kind of has a welding store in town. The one at the welding store was quite expensive, it's 16 bucks a pop. And then they have the cheapy ones at Menards that are like $1.29. You can really get a better price on all these if you buy in bulk, but this is just kind of how I got them and, and where they were sitting. I know for a fact, like the benchmarks, if you buy them in, you know, 25 packs, you can get them a lot cheaper than three bucks each. But this is a good example, just kind of where they're at if you're just getting one off the rack. Not only how they perform, but how long are they lasting and what finish are they leaving? I've got the same grit on all of them. They're all 36 or 40 grit, which is basically the same. Also, I might add, just in case people don't know what a flap disc is, a flap disc is basically a grinding disc that is made up of hundreds of little pieces, like a cut-up grinding wheel is what it is. So they're, they're soft, they have just a little bit of give in them. Not a ton of give, since I've got 40 grit in my hand. If they were 120, they'd have a lot more. But uh, these really do good. Uh, they're perfect for grinding and weld. Whereas, you know, your stone grinding wheel We'll just kind of dig in and make marks. You can actually kind of move along with these and you dress the whole weld at once. So uh, these are great. Anybody that does any welding or any like auto repair or any stuff with metal, you know how much uh, flap discs are used. So let's get going. What I'm gonna do on these, give I'm gonna give them about 10 to 15 minutes per disc and then kind of base my results off that. Um, you know, that'll give me a good idea on how they're performing. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, starting with the cheapy. This is the dollar one. I'm two minutes in and it's already pretty damn dull. <laughs> to be honest with you. That's not good. <laughs> This one's already kind of losing a lot of its shit. You can tell by looking at it, I really gotta, I gotta push hard on it now. Just in, just in five minutes or whatever. Actually not even that, about three minutes, but uh, I mean, you could probably go, it's not dead by any means. You could probably get another five or 10 minutes out of it, but uh, let's, let's switch to another one. This one's Harbor Freight. I think this one was like $2.99, something like that. You can tell by the cheap ones by how thin they are. They're super thin. You know, there's just not that many pieces of sandpaper in there. This one went bad quick. Look how much I already lost. I already lost a, I mean, I lost a quarter, well, half inch off the edge of it. And I'm already pushing really hard. And look, it's, it's actually got a couple chunks coming out of the edges. I mean, it's, it's only 30% dead, but that's pretty crazy to be dead that quick. So, um, hell, the dollar, the dollar uh, disc did better than that. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one is the benchmark. This is the, uh, I think this was one of the best sellers on Amazon. That's why I picked it. It's really thick. They actually call this one a jumbo because it's so thick. I think these were, these are around $3 a pad. So let's see how they do. Well, I'm, Five minutes in on this one and you really can't even tell yet. 
Uh, I mean, it might be down, might be down five percent, still cutting perfect. Um, I think that that thickness really helps a lot. You know what I'm saying? But uh, five minutes are up on that one, and we barely did any damage, so that's a good sign. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. This is the Walmart one. I believe they were uh, three ninety nine. Ten minutes is up on this one. Uh, this was the Walmart one. It's actually holding together really well, uh, better than I thought it would. It's probably I don't know, 10, 15 percent down, but it's still it's still cutting real good. So let's go to the next one. Okay, here is the Dewalt one. You get these at uh, you know Westlake's Tractor Supply stuff like that. They carry a lot of these. Uh, this one's like 7.99. This is my second most expensive one to try. So. This one, uh, I'm only five minutes in and this one's just falling apart. I really got to push hard on it. It's a 40 grit, but man, it acts like it's a 200 grit. It just has no, it has nothing to it. Look how bad in shape it's already in too. Yeah. That might be the worst one so far. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, here's the, here's the most expensive one. This is the big girl. This one is really thick. And I think this one was 17 bucks or something. See what happens. <laughs> Tell you what, it's uh, not performing as well as I thought it would. It's not bad, but I figured at like 17 bucks, this thing would like rip the metal in half. It, it really isn't, and actually, it has quite a bit of wear on it for only 10 minutes. I mean, uh, look how much is out of the middle of some of these. Hmm, I was not expecting that at all. Hmm, okay. A little bit more off camera and uh, kind of see how they all work out and come to a conclusion. Tested them all on welds, hardened steel, and then a bumper, and then also I even had them uh, dress the front of my anvil. So it's kind of a mix of everything, and I did it with all of them, so they all got the same amount of even wear. So here's the breakdown. Um, I've done some of this. I, I worked with all of them for probably about another 20 or 30 minutes. Well, no, I take that back, about 15 or 20 minutes. And here's kind of where they're all sitting. The biggest surprise of all of them was actually the expensive one didn't hold up nearly as well as I thought it would. Usually I tend to work with these, these cheaper ones. You know, I usually spend three or four dollars on them or something. I buy them in bulk, so they're usually a little bit better of a deal. But I was really excited about trying, you know, these, these real expensive ones at the welding store. It did not perform well at all. It also, I feel like because it's so big and heavy compared to some of these other ones, um, you want that thickness for durability, it really helps. But this one is like overly thick and it's almost so heavy it slows the grinder down a little bit. But for 16 bucks, even the, even the cheap piece of crap ones, even the dollar ones, which it wore out very fast, you could have bought 15 of those, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, at that price. So. Um, it's hard to, it's hard to justify that price when it wears out that bad. I'll go through them one by one. Now the, the dollar one obviously started wearing really quickly. Um, it, it did good with the metal. It didn't leave any like funky marks or anything. I mean, it did okay, but it, it started wearing quickly. This just only has like a 20 minute lifespan altogether. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe a half an hour. Or so. Um, the Harbor Freight one didn't do bad. The only thing about it, it was holding up okay, but it started coming off in chunks. 
no other disc did that you know where you can actually just see kind of the, the the frayed edges and the bad thing about those edges is when you're grinding that's kind of leaving marks you don't have you know you don't have an even swirl mark or anything you kind of see these little you know hiccups every now and then it was holding up okay as long as you know you you kind of kept it flat if you went up on the edge at all to get into a corner it really started falling apart um, these the benchmark ones which are the ones i got off amazon i believe they're one of amazon's best sellers um they did real well held its shape perfect didn't lose any off the edge and i still have plenty of meat in here um i was really happy with these these did great the walmart one i was also really happy with these held together a lot better than i thought you can tell by looking at the benchmark it, it worn out a little bit more but um this is still a pretty good um, pretty good buy. I mean, it was holding together fine. And this is, you know, this is after 30 minutes of use and it still has, you know, two thirds of its life left. So that's, you know, you can get these two here, you know, you can get, you know, an hour, hour and a half out of your use. Or, you know, if, you, if you're taking it easy with them, you know, you might get several hours. Me, I'm pretty hard on all my stuff. So that's why the DeWalt one started falling apart instantly. It, it was actually the worst out of all of these started grinding i had to push hard to even get it to remove any material it's a 40 grit but it's set up it almost feels like a 240 like it's just too soft like there's nothing there's nothing good there i think it's just cheap you know just cheap sandpaper where the your grit just falls off instantly um that one was by far the worst which which was surprising because you'd think oh you know there's dollar ones no nah, that one was by far the worst altogether benchmark number one um they did the best held together a close second is the Walmart. Um, these two are pretty much neck and neck. The only reason I gave the Benchmark the win is because, like I said, it is thicker, so it's going to last even longer than this one. So um, over time, over time, the Benchmark, even though this one is still, you know, doing a good job, the Benchmark is kind of double lasted just because how thick it is. Um, so we'll go one, two, third is our real expensive one. Um, like I said, it, it did okay. It's not bad. But for $16, I would have expected a lot more out of it. Um, you know, it, I was hoping it would kind of blow me away and it would last really long. It, uh, it did okay, but it's just for the money, I would definitely take third. Fourth was actually these cheapies. I figured they'd come in dead last since they were only a buck, but they actually did okay. They just, they, uh, they did really well grinding and stuff. They just wore out so fast because they're so thin, but they did fine. Uh, fifth was the Harbor Freight. Once again, just kind of cheap, but I didn't like how it started falling apart on the edges. Uh, just kind of started leaving a funky, funky look. And then uh, by far the worst was the DeWalt, the tractor supply ones. These ones just brand new right out the gate. It wasn't doing a good job, even, even compared to, like I said, the dollar one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos. And uh, let me know what you think. Is there uh, some more brands I should try or is there a different method I should have tried with these? Um, I'm, always, I'm always open to listen to people if they have good ideas. So let me know and uh, check out some more of my videos. Peace, guys. Bye.